It was 20 years ago. ABC4 was taking a bold step to create a new show, a lifestyle show, all local and live and unscripted. They gathered in the studio for this rehearsal in 2002. There were three pro TV folks at a table talking about life and even about their lives and having fun doing it in this test run. So great. Have you been to McDonald's sometimes and seen some? No, I've never been to McDonald's. Okay, well, <laughs> yes, I have. maybe I'm the only one that's eating there frequently lately. The creative force behind the show, George Severson, designed it to be as real as life is in Utah. The fun, the information, and the food. The anchor who would be in the middle on that test run is still the anchor in the middle 20 years later, Nisha DeGaring. Until that day in 2002, she was the station crime reporter. I was trained as a broadcaster. I sat behind a desk and I stacked my papers and I had the shoulder pads at KBYU and suddenly I had to be me and I had to talk about myself and my life and it wasn't something I'd trained for. And how would a person train for this? A person cannot. Well, unless you took a crash course in becoming a jazz dancer. It was all part of the show. Yes, it was to inform, but also to entertain. And of course, the guests. Wow, it did entertain. I'm done, I'm dead. We're singing this song. Singing happy birthday. The good things you taught. Yeah. This is so exciting because I have never before in my life decorated a hot dog. And that's all right. This is who I want with the weather is better when the eagles did it best. And one of the favorite moments came when Nisha sat down with Garth Brooks. If you've never seen Garth Brooks live or Garth Brooks with his three little girls, then you've never seen what I truly believe is Garth Brooks. However, throughout it all, it was all about the GTU family. We are live in Southern Utah. Over the years, dozens shared the set with Nisha. They became more than a cast. They were all part of a family on the set and with the audience. And just like life, family members sometimes move away. But this will be her last regular day hosting mm -hmm. the show. Yes. And family members move in. Our newest Good Things Utah host, Saray Chin. <laughs> this show evolved, and it had to, or it would have gone away. And the personalities around me changed, and some stayed, and some left, and I'm sure some favorites for people out there, because that's life. Life moves on. And I've had tough moments on this show. I, my life has not been perfect. And thank you for all of you who have reached out to me. Everyone's standing around the cameras and everyone's sitting. My support group and my, my people are here. It really is a lifestyle show about life. Both the Onset family and the audience grew up with the show. I have been here for 20 years, but Good Things Utah is not about me. Good Things Utah had a life of its own. And it became like a child of mine. Like, I feel like I've grown up with it. My kids have grown up with it. My oldest daughter was six weeks old when I sat down on the set. Now she's 20 and lives in Manhattan. Yes, it is a family. They make all of us at ABC4 proud. Now, I have hung around TV for over a half century, and I admire the work done these 20 years on this show. We had a great time in Southern Utah. I mean, temperatures in the upper 80s. What could I could have done a look back story on any of the pros, but I have known Nisha the longest. And after all, she's been that anchor who has always sat in the middle for two decades. I put my notes aside and listen, and listen, and hear what comes out of their mouth. Those are the stories. Those are what inspire people. Those are what Good Things Utah is all about. So when you stop talking and start listening and connecting. That was my secret. Every once in a while you come across a format that really works, a show that really works, and most importantly, a person who is amazing, Nisha. Craig Worth, ABC 4 News.